Hey guys, let's discuss acne and polycystic ovarian syndrome today, as in PCOS. There has been an explosion of PCOS in the last decade. When I started my practice back in the year 2000, I would see about one patient with PCOS once in three to four days. Now, one in every four females who walks into my clinic has PCOS. PCOS may be genetic or it could be purely a lifestyle disorder. It presents differently in different individuals. According to a study conducted in 2011, prevalence of PCOS in Indian adolescent girls is about 9.13%. On the other hand, there may be females suffering very quietly from PCOS without having a hint of it. Now, 60% of females suffering from PCOS are obese or overweight, 40% are actually lean, and their diagnosis is often missed. 30% of females suffering from PCOS have normal periods. 90% of the females suffering from PCOS have resistant or recurrent acne. 60% have hirsutism, which is excessive hair growth on the body and 20% have a condition called acanthosis nigricans, which is thickened and dark skin folds. 12.5% will also have hair loss. Now, acne in PCOS are usually inflamed, sometimes cystic, and in older females, they are more common along the jawline and on the chin. What about the cure? Now, your gynecologist or endocrinologist will prescribe certain medicines which you must take. Apart from this, lifestyle changes stand tall in the treatment of PCOS. Eat right, exercise regularly, sleep on time, stress less, avoid alcohol and smoking and see the difference. Really tough in today's time of late night parties, social media activity and WhatsApp group chats at night, isn't it? But if you want to have clear skin and suffer less, you may as well lead a healthy lifestyle. Now, there is no permanent cure for PCOS, but if you eat healthy and reduce your weight and make sure your BMI drops to around 24, you will find your symptoms disappearing and your androgen hormone levels going down to normal again. High fiber foods such as sprouts, beans, lentils, cauliflower, red leaf, lettuce, bell peppers, broccoli, spinach, tomatoes. Then you have almonds, walnuts, olive oil, blueberries, strawberries, uh, omega-3 fatty acids and such as, you know, salmons. These are great options for those suffering from PCOS. Sugar, dairy, refined flour are a strict no. Apart from this, dermatologists will prescribe topical or systemic anti-acne medicines, supplements like myo-inositol, chromium, omega-3 fatty acids, alpha lipoic acids, and of course, if you're deficient in vitamin D3, we prescribe vitamin D3 as well. For more, post your comments here, like, share, and subscribe to Dr. Jayashree Sharad's Forever Youthful.